problem? Specialize in cryptography. A lot of smugglers use coded slates, so it comes in handy. Hey there, deputy. The way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business.
talk with you. I don't get paid to be nice. I get paid to put down any... Get out. <gasps> Whatever you have to say, I don't give a shit. Just to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. Unless you want to be on my bad side, you better back off. Hey, watch out. You cause trouble, and I will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways I see fit. This ain't the United Colonies, Cupcake. Here, you listen to me. I lead the security force. Because we have to deal with the dregs of society, like you. Because May lets us handle things our way. Best way to keep people in line is through fear. After you see your first head split open on the bar floor, you're gonna think twice about skipping out on your tab. Maybe you don't start that fight over your lost bet. You get it now? Call it whatever you want. We're ecliptic mercenaries. So I think twice about pissing us off, or else you may find yourself with nowhere to hide. What do you think, moron? Money. May pays us well to keep the assholes out. I make sure my people pretty much get the run of the place. Free booze, free entertainment, you name it. And if anyone's got a problem with it, well, we've got ways of making people disappear. Now go on. Can you believe that? Like I'm gonna run off without paying. The hell kind of scum they think I am. Yeah. Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? Excuse me. I don't have time for this bullcrap. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure, and now I'm on the outs. May's security. Bunch of wannabe soldier assholes is more like it. Call themselves Ecliptic. You think there's some sort of uh, elite paramilitary unit? I'll tell you what they really are. They're nothing but punks with guns that get off on pushing people around. I get the need for having some security out here. We're independent. That ain't lost on me. But these guys are the worst of the worst. More trouble than they're worth, you know? And not by a little. Yep, she took over a little while ago. Drove out all the regulars because they didn't fit in with her new vision for the place. Now, I'm not saying they were saints, but at least there was some respect for the people whose blood and sweat makes this place work, you know? You'll find her inside. Whatever you're here for, she's probably the one you want to talk to first.
Sure has. May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. I mean, I could charge you, but I won't. There's no work to be done on that ship. Yeah, sure. Huh? I'm in charge of secure. Pretty here, so I'm the last one. Hey, back off. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Wonderful. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. I wouldn't take that personally. Probably just having a bad day. Sam Co. Never thought I'd see you again. Can't say I really want to, either. Not after you turned your back on the rest of us. I did what I had to do, and I'm at peace with it. If you're gonna hold a grudge, that's your problem, not mine. I wouldn't count on Sam here to have your back, deputy. He's likely to disappear on you just when you need him the most. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't have the time to babysit a rookie. I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. She won't be staying long, so I don't have time to brief you. You'll find out everything you need to know when you meet with her. Follow me. Sorry, friend. I don't do autographs. Is that Donovan Reese? Damn. Guy's a legend. He's run the mile more than anyone alive. Take a seat. Who are you? Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Sati, my dear. You're looking mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory. It's like, like the stars are smiling down at me. That's exactly what this meeting is about. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not going to tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. 
One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Right. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. I hope that's not false bravado, deputy. Because this is life and death we're talking about. Planned this out real good, didn't you, Jade? The Freestyle Rangers do the dirty work, and you get rid of a rival. Don't forget the part where the Freestar Rangers get to bring down a big-time criminal while your deputy friend here gets intel on the first. Seems to me like we're all getting something we want, thanks to my good planning. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? It's good to really be going to take on the mile, huh? Well, let's get stuffy sometimes. A new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Oh? Let's rectify that then, shall we? You will not find a more exciting blood sport in all the settled systems. The Red Mile is an exciting and deadly race to the finish for the galaxy's bravest champions. Those that manage to complete the course win fame and fortune. Those that don't are never heard from again. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, Please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happens if you fail. <laughs> You're too precious! Yes, of course they bet on our runners' lives. We're outside of the colonies and free stars for a reason. Betting is a huge part of the Red Mile's appeal. How better to make the most exciting sport in the universe more exciting? Repeat runners draw bigger bets. You should ask Donovan how much bets on him were worth before he was forced to retire. Just a little introduction we do to get the fans all worked up. The Red Mile is a spectator sport after all. Most people don't complete the course, so this is a way to give those unfortunate souls a proper send-off while they can still appreciate it. Of course. And if you're thinking of running, just let me know. I'll be glad to sign you up. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him? Exactly. It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. 
Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets for my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. I'm afraid not. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. I wish I shared your optimism. The mile's very real. Now that we're clear on what's expected, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. I'm a little preoccupied, to be honest. Uh, it's about Donovan. He keeps adding to his tab, but he hasn't paid anything. Pardon me? I'll do that. Thank you. 